I would like to be an architecture in the future. I have a vision in my life. The vision to tell the world what Africa really is. I want to be a trophy for you to show that it is still possible. Like there's still hope for Africa, there's still hope for children like me, there's still hope for everyone. Capital Trust Burundi is more than an organization. You do my you do glory, you're a faithful and awesome and you do my The Higher Life Foundation journey started in January 2010 following the initial recruitment of three beneficiaries for the prestigious Waterford Kamlaba College Scholarship in Swaziland. The three history makers went on to make positive history in the Southern African Best Institution, where upon completion of their two-year program, one of them broke into Harvard University, where he's studying mechanical engineering. Among the Waterford Scholarship beneficiaries was a then 18-year-old Salathion Hakarutimana, a double orphan from Chakuzo province, who survived a decade-long civil war, which also claimed the lives of his dear parents, a story all too familiar for thousands of Burundian children. When his caregiving auntie died in 2005, Salathion missed a full year of school. Now a promising young global leader studying at Harvard University in the United States of America, Salafiel's story is both inspiring and humbling. Today, Salafiel and many other Burundian children just like him have dreams for a brighter future, dreams that are being made possible by the work of Higher Life Foundation and its motivated workforce. Since 2010, Higher Life Foundation has been on the front line, working to empower a new generation of Burundians with a leadership mindset for global impact. The transformation journey has grown both in scope and reach. The Higher Life Foundation glow has been illuminated beyond Bujumbura province, directly impacting more than 500 lives in 14 of the 17 geographical provinces that make up Burundi. Wedged between Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Rwanda in East Central Africa, Burundi is a landlocked country with a rapid infrastructure development. Burundi is divided into 17 administrative provinces governed by provincial governors. Working in Burundi has been a privilege for me. It has been an honor. I've seen history makers burning the candle the night long you know, producing some excellent results under difficult circumstances. Right now, we are sitting on 500 history makers across the country, of which 50 of them are in various universities in Burundi, making positive history makers beyond their social economic background, beyond their ethnic background. In line with gender equality, 52% of the total enrollment is made up of female beneficiaries. I never thought something positive could ever come out of my life. Poverty was written all over my life, but God is forever faithful. I was chosen as part of the eight Burundian history makers during the 2012 Waterford College selection. My passion is to create employment for my fellow Burundians. Yes, it is very possible. I've become a history maker since 2011, I mean two years ago. And since then, my life was transformed. It changed. It was transformed spirit, soul, and body. I've got Christ in my life. And since then, I know I'm a winner. I'm a winner in everything I do, at school, in my family, in my relationships. Since then, I'm a blessing to every people I'm with. Et ce programme est beaucoup apprécié, que ce soit par ces enfants-là qui sont assistés et leurs parents. À côté de ces parents, je citerai également les, les, les enseignants et qui ont trouvé dans ce programme vraiment une aide très nécessaire pour ces enfants, très salutaire. We've also started working with the disabled students because we have realized that if we capacitate them, 
they can also make positive history in their respective lives, regardless of their physical uh, difficulties in their lives. Right now, we'll be recruiting about 15 more um, physically challenged history makers uh, onto the program because we want them to, to also shine. We want to give them the platform to shine, give them the platform to showcase their various skills because we believe each and every one was born for a purpose, regardless of the physical backgrounds, the physical uh, deficiencies in their bodies. The welfare of our beneficiary is of critical importance as we strive to come up with a complete product able to impact the world positively. Besides giving food assistance, uniforms, sanitary wear, and medical assistance, a blessing of a hundred new mattresses was ceded to Musinzira Secondary School dormitories following the sorry bedding situation at the school. The school authorities were overwhelmed and appreciated the gesture with humility and meekness. Empowerment through evangelism forms the heart of Higher Life Foundation work. We are convinced that after all is said and done, the Word of God is the ultimate solution to the global challenges facing mankind. I joined Capernaum Trust in January 2011, and um, my motivation was winning more souls to Christ. And since then, I have been given many opportunities to reach to the world and to preach them the gospel. I saw there was something different about Capernaum Trust at first sight. I just knew because it was more than, they didn't just want to help me like financially or anything. They wanted to give me something more, something that is everlasting. And more than giving me uh, food, money, and uh, paying my school fees, they gave me God. Like they inspired me to be a better me. They told me I had, a hope, I had a future, I, I, could do, I could do everything I wanted to do, I could go everywhere I, could, I wanted to go. And like, they challenged me to dream big. I remember Brother Marshall when he came, he was like, now you have to dream big, dream of the biggest thing you've ever, like you will ever dream of. And I was like, wow. Je dirais que leur vie spirituelle est animée. Euh, C'est une vie qui est maintenant vivante, eux-mêmes le, le, le disent. We got also the opportunity to send some pastors, some ministers into ISM. And it was really great to work together with them in our work. A cumulative of 21 gospel ministers attended a fully sponsored two-week International School of Ministry training in South Africa. The gospel ministers have taken Burundi's Christian landscape by storm. From South Africa, um, I, I went to, uh, to, to the hospital uh, and I found a lady lying there in a coma. Then I obeyed the Spirit of God. And I told, I, told, I told that lady, wake up because you also, you are the daughter of Abraham. Then the lady was in a coma, walk. It was very uh, amazed to see people delivered from uh, demon possessions and uh, some people who could not eat a kind of food, who, who since that time could eat it, it was very amazing. What we have going on here is the Brethren in God's Glory Center preparing to go out with the Rhapsody of Reality to reach out to Burundi. As you can tell, there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of expectation, there's a lot of faith out there that we will be able to win the souls and bring people into the Kingdom of God. More than 20,000 French and Kirundi Rhapsody of Realities edition has been distributed across the country as part of empowerment through evangelism. The daily devotional books were distributed to Mimba Maximum Prison, hospitals, governments, stakeholders, history makers, university sales groups, as well as various churches. And now today, I'm telling you the truth. We have 135 souls who came to know the Lord. Now, I'm so happy, I'm so overwhelmed <laughs> of what the Lord is doing. Distribution of Christian materials has also been extended to the first family. Our journey would not be possible without the continued financial and material support from our sole founders, Econet Wireless Burundi. Indeed, Econet has been used by God as a generational channel of blessing to mankind. 
would like also to thank our patrons for the vision that they have of spreading the gospel in many nations. And we are very grateful that they have started this initiative also in Burundi. I would like to thank our patrons, Mr. and Mrs. Masiwa, for giving us this opportunity for entrusting us with this privilege to make a difference into the lives of the various students out there in Burundi. We are also grateful to Econet Wireless Burundi for they have been used by God as a vehicle for positive transformation in Burundi. To Econet employees we say thank you so much. Continue giving your 100% to this work. It is only God who will reward you abundantly. Et je formule un mot de remerciement à leur place, à la personne qui a pensé à ce projet. Merci beaucoup, que Dieu vous bénisse et continuez à soutenir les jeunes de ce sens. Ils sont euh, aujourd'hui euh, dans notre pays, c'est le Burundi d'aujourd'hui, mais nous pensons beaucoup puisque c'est le Burundi de demain et ils pourront faire un peu plus. D'autant plus qu'il y en a qui disent que plus tard, ils vont peut-être aider d'autres. Il y a l'un ou l'autre qui me l'a dit, parce que maintenant, il est aidé aussi par d'autres personnes. I, I will never forget when he said that we were not orphans anymore, that we were, we had parents and that they were, they were in Zimbabwe somewhere, that they had a lot of other kids and that it was nice that my life was going to be a better life and that God had just answered me. I hadn't asked for anything. I just, I just did it. Like it was just unexpected. And uh, I want to thank you for everything, Mr. and Mrs. Masiwa, for everything you do for me and for everyone else you take care of. I believe that everything you, every seed you are sowing right now, you will harvest like a big crop. So don't be discouraged. I know it's not easy. Like I know it's not easy at all to give to people you don't even know. But I just want to tell you that it, at some point, at some point, like the Bible says that every good work will be rewarded. And I believe you will be rewarded like a lot, a lot, a lot more than anyone else that has ever been for everything you are doing for Africa because God has sent you and you have obeyed. There is no failure with God. No fear with God No fear with God No, no